Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Su. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to learn about if you should use manual bidding on Facebook ads. So, you know, Facebook ads a couple of years ago, or I should say the last couple of years, um, a lot of people have just been running ads, you know, being okay with uh, the automatic bidding and the automatic optimizations coming in from Facebook. And that still works well today. But, you know, as with any kind of marketing or advertising, you want to be testing all the time, right? So for me, you know, I, I started seeing some other marketers switching to manual bidding. Uh, I walked I actually watched a video from uh, Noah Kagan, who's a who's a well-known marketer, and you know how he kind of switched to manual bidding as well. You know, let's say you're looking to drive, uh, you know, cheap clicks, or you're looking to drive kind of uh, you know cheaper email signups. You know, the idea is basically instead of letting Facebook do automatic bidding, you just set a manual bid for you know how much you're willing to pay for an email, for example, right? And you know, we started testing that, and from our own data, it's actually working out better um, in some cases, but in some cases, it's actually worse too. So, from my perspective, it's worth testing, and um, you know, we're seeing some good results from it. Yeah, and I've seen this for a long time now, in which any time that I use automatic bidding or automated bidding within Facebook and I have them optimized for the cheapest cost per click or CPM or whatever it may be, my costs are drastically higher than when I do manual bidding. Um, and Eric is right. Sometimes it won't work out well for you, but in most cases, I've always found that manual bidding works better. So you should definitely test it out. Um, automated bidding is easier, but it's just going to cost you quite a bit more money. And on mine, I'm seeing cost savings of like 20, 30 percent, sometimes even more. Huge, especially if you're spending, you know, six to seven figures uh, a month. But yeah, I mean, if you look at Google, for example, you know, just to use these these two kind of giant platforms, Google, usually what happens is, um, you know, you, you set kind of your own bidding initially and then you let and then you switch it to automated. So that's more of a kind of like a CPA basis um, with Facebook. It's kind of reversed. You know, I've always enjoyed the Google way, you know, more in the past. So, um, yeah, it just makes sense to, you know, figure out what your numbers are, what's going to work for you and then bid. And then if you're not getting the right impressions um, or if your ads aren't showing enough, then you might need to just crank it up a little bit. Right. It's all about testing at the end of the day. Yeah, I have nothing else from mine. It's quite simple. Test it out. It usually works. Very simple. And not a, I think not enough people talk about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this pretty basic podcast. Just go test that manual. I, my gut tells me most of you are probably using automatic right now. Um, so, you know, take it to your ad manager and, and go from there. But before we go, we have a one year annual subscription of Crazy Egg, uh, a giveaway that we're doing every single week that I want to talk about. Uh, but first, Neil, you can describe what Crazy Egg is and then I'll give people the details. Sure. Crazy Egg is a visual analytics tool. It'll show you where people click on your website, where they won't show you how far people scroll down on your website. So if your call to actions or your important messaging is in the wrong place and people aren't seeing them, you need to make a change. You can also watch video recordings of how people navigate through your site from the people who convert to the people who don't so you can figure out what areas you need to adjust in your design and the messaging you need to change through crazy eggs WYSIWYG editor you can make those changes you don't need any design or development skills and you can even run a b tests by just doing a few button clicks Great. So if you want to get in on this giveaway, we're doing a one year annual subscription giveaway every single week and you can actually get multiple entries to this. So just go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to learn more and we'll see you tomorrow. This session of marketing school has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.